Hey, what's up guys? So I started hooking up some electric in my van. Um, I'm hooking up shore power first. I'm doing a 110 inlet uh, plug. So right now I'm just testing everything out, make sure I wired everything correctly. But as you can see, this right here is just the, uh, the plug that's eventually going to go through the van wall itself. But uh, like I said, I just wanted to hook it up, just to make sure everything was running right, made sure I had power. But um, basically what it is, is uh, it's an onboard plug. Um, I've seen other people put them in vans, but you can also put them in boats as well. So it's 110, 15 amp. Um, basically, you just stick it through your wall and, um, and you plug in an extension cord. So... At least that way, I'll have a little bit of shore power somewhere, um, depending on where I am. So that is going to go, that's the first outlet right there. That's going to go inside a waterproof case back here in this corner. Um, and of course, it's going to be wall, it's going to be boarded up and walled up and all that stuff. So it's not just going to be hanging there. So um, this right here goes through the wall. So I'm going to put it on the back section back here. Um, I've seen some people do it on the side, um, but I'm going to do mine on the back. So it's pretty much going to go right underneath the tail light on the left side, on the driver's side, somewhere right around in here. So, um, yeah, like I said, I mean, some people put it on the side. I'm not a, you know. I don't really want to kind of, I don't want to do it on the side, so I'm just going to put it on the back side. But like I said, um, this will be the first plug that comes in. That's the first outlet. Then it's going to run up back here and into the living area. And my second outlet will be on the inside on the living area back here. I'm going to mount it up here somewhere um, on the inside. So that way I have um, my shore power, shore power plug right next to my air conditioner and right next to my couch slash my bed. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to mount it up there somewhere, but I'm not a, um, electrician or anything like that. Just, uh, you know, just watch some YouTube channel or YouTube videos and, um, you know, just common sense and common knowledge and stuff like that. So, um, I mean, I've hooked up some things here and there, but. I'm not an electrician, so don't follow anything that I do, please. So then my second one, or yeah, my third one is going to be up here in the front. And that is that one. And this one is pretty much going to be mounted up here somewhere. Um, haven't figured that out yet. Haven't made up my mind. But then I think I'm going to run a third one off or another one off of that one. Because I want it to go, um, I want an outlet in my kitchen area, so um, which will be on this side over here. Yeah, I'm gonna have one over here on this side as well at some point. But yeah, um, I had some power. Everything was cool and it worked out well. So here I am drilling the hole um, in the back. Now with all the insulation that I put in there, <laughs> um, yeah, it was pretty thick. So, and here I am putting the hole on the back, on the outside. So there's the hole there. It was pitch black outside when I got done. Um, so, but anyway, um, 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 um. yeah, so this is coming through. This is the outside here. So like I said, I mean, I can go to an RV park or a friend's house or something, plug in shore power, and um, I'll have some power, you know. So here I am. That was mounted. Um, got my 
I'm charging my battery right there for my, my drill. So I definitely had power running. Everything was awesome. This is how I ran it underneath my couch, underneath my bed to the third outlet up by the front. Stay tuned. Um, this is what's coming, man. This right here is uh, the stage I'm at. Subscribe so you can see my next video on my walls.